Hey nerds, welcome to Jared Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 8, Episode 19 of Supernatural, entitled Taxi Driver. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. There will be links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. Jerry, who does his best work behind the scenes just a few seconds, last episode was, uh, it was decent. I enjoyed it, the Freaks and Geeks. Just, you know, those little kids and stuff. I enjoyed seeing Chrissy again. Uh, I wouldn't mind Chrissy being a, a pseudo-reoccurring character. But um, it just, it was, it came and went. Nothing too wild about it. Just getting another character that we've seen before was really nice. Not much to say about it. So Taxi Driver, we're going to get directly into this. I think this may be another episode of the week, Monster of the Week type deal, and then we'll get into our home stretch, being probably 21, 22, and 23, maybe 20 to 23 of all story episodes, and then we can really see how this whole story for Season 8 wraps up. And it's, like I said, so far it's better than, the season's better than 6 and 7 for me. I don't see anything happening here that can make it worse. If it does, I, I shouldn't say that, I shoot myself in the foot. Uh, depending on how good or bad these next four to five episodes are will determine where it's placed on the season rankings, which we'll obviously we'll talk about a little bit during the season eight recap, uh, which the season eight recap should be on the 11th, if I'm not mistaken. If everything goes well, which is a Wednesday, which is great. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put Jerry behind the scenes. Boop. I know you see me right there. You're not my friends. There we go. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Season 8, episode 19, Taxi Driver. What's up, Kev? Working with them. Those Winchesters. He sees you Kev. when you're sleeping. He knows not when you're here. awake. It's Crowley. He knows what you're doing. Not here either. Give up. I need your hair. As well as everywhere. I want to send your hair in your hair here. Crown finger. Imagine what will happen this time. But didn't Cass give him his finger back? That's an arm. We lost the hand, but what he was physically holding up was an arm. Crowley wins. Fatality. Supernatural. Boy, if y'all couldn't tell it ADHD from that opening, Kevin, you never would understand. Kevin! I translated the second trial from the tablet. Ooh, second trial time, baby. You crazy prop for you. Nice work. An innocent soul has to be rescued from hell and delivered unto heaven. Fucking what? what? Too. That's, that's how God talks. Rescue a soul from hell? Like, actually go to hell? How do you get a soul unto heaven? I mean, how do you even get a soul out of hell? You'd have to call 1-800, yeah, cast on that in order to raise it from hell to send it to heaven. And how would you even pick, bro? We're going to need an expert. You two are both kind of experts. Are you crossroad demon? Y'all trying to summon Crowley? That's not how they summon him. Who are you trying to get? Just any old regular crossroad? Oh, what's up, bro? Hey, there it is. Uh, it's been in there the whole time. I'm back. Ah, oh, shit. I ain't got nothing. Oh, fight me. Well, then how about another owie? Oh, ah. A little bit of sizzle, sizzle, bizzle, bizzle. Come on, man. Better death than Crowley. Hmm. Good boy. But first, you're going to tell us everything. Yeah, you got yourself a talker, and if you want that sweet release of death, you give us the 411 on the sea man. Priest. If you're on the king of hell's no-fly list, no way you cruise the friendly skies. Is is Bobby going to be the soul we have to deliver from hell to heaven? Oh, look at this mother brother eavesdropping. Yeah, look, he almost got them sideburns like Sam, bro. His shit look cooler, though. Rickety-ass gate. Is this a elevator? I said Rad cut that little girl's feet off. Poof, and they gone. That guy's whole asshole's burnt out. 
is not an easy place. And he's gone. I'm glad that people know what that weapon is. Not as cool as like Dean's like cool hatchet thing that he hasn't used since he got out of purgatory, but it's still pretty damn cool. What you got some? He got some rallies. I see, I see the, I see the little checkerboards. Gavin. Nah, it ain't rallies. Prince right. <laughs> Good transition. I can't, I can't see. Oh, he just eating the lettuce off of it. Oh, them ain't curly fries. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in my room. Let me know when there's a good day. There isn't. This is my pie. You. You stole his pie. The Dean's never ending saga of no pie continues. Oh, brother. Stabbed him right through his. Sh oh, that's a hell of a face to have when you die. That's a thumbnail face. You won't be collecting. Seventeen hours. Ain't nobody gonna be there to pick him up with a J gone. Sammy, how you gonna get back out, dog? I was just gonna say if Crowley didn't kill him, that'd be stupid. Like you really just care about this guy's job that much? You can have a Winchester trapped in purgatory, having to fight these dumbass fucking goo goo leviathans, probably. Jesus. Hey, don't drop the one thing you have that can just fucking wah, 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 wah. bungee cable. Tether that shit to you, bro. Something. Damn. Bro, see, this type of shit has to weigh on you psychologically just forever. I, I like your little Eddie? head cut you got. Eddie? 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 That's oh, not Eddie, bro. Eddie. You came. No. <laughs> hey, Bobby. <laughs> He's so used to seeing illusions and shit, Get bro. Get the hell out of here, you black eyed son of a bitch. What? Bobby, it's Sam. Yeah, and I'm Elvis. Move your ass. Bobby. Get. Yeah, it's me. Okay, damn it. If it's not Sam. Then how do I know about you and Tori Spelling? What? You're a fan. Yeah. Oh, he's a big or, fan. Or, uh, okay. I'm sorry, Sam. But you're the 200th Sam I've seen today. I believe it. screw with me. Just endless Sams and Deans all wearing the same black eyes. Man, uh, what the hell are you doing here? Don't worry about that, brother. I know we're trying to deliver uh, a soul, an innocent soul from hell to heaven. The fucked up thing is, what if they did this and they were like, Bobby Singer's not innocent. And then they did the whole thing for nothing. Um, I, I would much rather it be they just get him back in the show. That would be the better outcome. Just me personally. And say, fuck you, those other two seasons. Sir, something is going on. I'm killed. Winchester jumbo size is trying to break into the mothership and that prophet of theirs I thought there was gonna be more like he jumbo sized something but he was just saying it's so big is madly That would have been my look back in the day going through a temp agency and end up working for the king of hill I like, damn it bro Kevin Tra it, This ain't this ain't worth 725 Apparently Man, I ain't shaking that dirty ass bum ass fuck ass hand I don't know what you did to Cass after he got out of purgatory After I rescued him from purgatory. I like how once the character started talking, the uh, the eggs and bacon stopped sizzling in the background. He didn't take that shit off. Let me hear it. Let me smell it. <sighs> me? Yeah, 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 At the yeah, cost yeah. of many <laughs> angels' lives. You screwed with his head and had him spy on us. Oh, he's looking for his watch that he placed? Oh. Oh. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. <laughs> We gotta get out of here. Bobby, they're messing with you. Don't listen to him, he's not real. Bobby, get away from him. We gotta go now. How'd you know? You knew somehow, right? No. Took a chance. Yeah. 50-50. <laughs> those aren't the worst odds in the world. What do we do now? I mean, I wanted to call right there. I just uh, thought it might be better if I didn't. 
That it's okay Benny? Hear your voice, then. Aw. I mean that. Hey, Benny. I thought How that boy been? was gone. Well, you know, I get by. Hunter's funeral, zip, nothing. And I was okay with that. Imagine my surprise. Well, I guess if there has to be an eternity, I'd pick heaven over hell. Yeah, because there's nothing screwy going on up there. They <laughs> made the rules. Well, I'll uh, do my... It's just good to see Bobby, man. I wish we could get him back. Like they said, he got no bones. He can't be tied to nothing. I'll fucking... I, he got there pretty quickly. If Dean Winchester asked for a favor, he's not screwing around. He got them fucking vampire diaries feet. the last thing I ever wanted to do. I know. But my little brother is stuck down there. This be little brother wants to kill me, right? Yeah. You got access to the place. By access, you mean getting beheaded? Hey, he's your brother. Benny, a little bit looks like Larry the Cable Guy. I just want to put that out in the open. The more you look at it, the more it's there. Get her done. I said, let's do this. What? Not my first rodeo, man. No. Why are they doing this to me? <laughs> Where you just you got this back alley? You better swing through, swing through, spring, spring, swing, swing true, brother. Thank you. Benny's a good dude, man. You know what I hate? I want to pause it right here just for a second. Is you had some really cool stories with cast that fell through. Well, they didn't fall through, but like they took a seven episode hiatus from it. At the end of episode 10, which is now we're almost 10 episodes, almost 10 episodes later, we had all this stuff with Benny and him, you know, almost killing, or he did, did kill Marty, Martin, whatever the fuck his name was. And then he, we see him struggling with life struggling not to go take innocent lives and not to feed actually on a person but to continue drinking his blood bags calling dean who's essentially a sponsor saying he needs help he just needs a cup of coffee this that and the other and there's just then he's just gone i, I just think if you spent more time and more episodes and the monster of the week stuff is fun but you have so much good story detail here that if you would have stuck with Benny or even showed him struggling like I said the last episode like having Cass on his own as an individual character like having Benny as an individual character like showing Cass being manipulated and going around killing demons and showing Benny just struggling and then trying his best not to attack people and trying to call Dean and it just going to voicemail or having Dean listen to the voicemail and not being able to respond or something along those lines to keep everybody tied in you would have a much more overall impactful story because I I loved Benny in those early episodes that we got, but we went so long without him. It's like, oh, this is this guy from earlier this season, Bing Bam Boop. He's gonna do the sacrifice. It just seems like the the cool reoccurring characters only show back up when it's convenient for Sam and Dean. And I know the show is about Sam and Dean because it's supernatural. It's their show, but side characters are often just as important as the main characters. So <sighs> that's my rant. Yuck him. Ah. Let's go, Benny. Hashtag almost vampire. Almost best friends. Well, you two really went off the rails while I was gone, didn't you? And he got that pretty quick too, bro. Yeah, you move that body, get that blood up too. What if somebody sees you, dude? I was just about to say, brother, we're always watching. It's just a demon. All right, nobody important, I guess. Fuck. Hey, Benny, listen, I know you said my brother's ass a few times down here, and I respect that. Right, now I'm trying to save yours. No time for goodbyes. I already said goodbye to you once, Sam. Didn't seem to take. Right. No reason to think I won't see you again somewhere down the road. That's how this show goes. Yeah. But if they give me a rocking chair up there, I'm raising hell. I think Bobby would fit nice in a rocking chair. 
Just a couple of words, brother. Now you want to offer up that right arm to that goddamn vampire? All right. Come on, Benny. It's your turn. He's actually going to do it? Hurry up. Benny! And still working with the Winchesters. And here comes three random people that's going to prevent Benny from hopping on board with Sam to return to Earth. Hurry! Time for you to go, Sam. Knock him. I, those three people not taking on Benny. That's all I'm saying. Sam. And there I am. At end day. Oh. oh. That shit just get intercepted. Oh, oh, Crowley, you son of a bitch. Bobby Singer, I know you anywhere. Let him go, Crowley. He doesn't belong in hell. He does if I say he does. And that's not how that He's works. Inflicted untold damage on my kind. Fuck you and your kind. Where I said, actually, hell's too good for him. Really? Don't call me a bureaucrat. He bounced before you even had the chance to fucking charge up and go all Super Saiyan on the mass. Do me a favor and at least Bobby to heaven right now, Naomi. Do something right for a stinky ass. Be free, Bobby Singer. I told you you could trust me. No, you can't. No, you can't. Just because you do one act of goodwill, don't worry about it. I'll tell you later. Let's get this trial done. I think it's done. Oh, you have to say the thing afterwards. Oh, no. Huh. Can, can Dean see the glowy hand? The, uh, the, okay. the iron fist. Fine. It's done. It's done. Is he gonna make himself like a vessel? Like he has to like sacrifice himself to close this? What's the dealio? Oh, it's, it, I don't think it's I don't think it's parts of dream, big guy. I've thought about that many times over. Like, couldn't they just break the fucking glass to come in and interact with these hoes? Kevin Tran. Oh, live and in it's living color. Thought you could elude me forever. Said you are nothing. You ain't kill his mama. Fleeting blips of light. We ain't seen her in forever. I she probably had something else better to do. Kill her off fucking screen. Forever. Screen. Nah, just because you said that, bro. Definitely some shit bad gonna happen to you at some point or another. Fizzles folly? Is okay. that is that why Garth's Mr. Fizzles? Couldn't yeah. it? Couldn't at any point? Oh shit! That glass isn't broke. Did, did he just psych you out, bro? Couldn't at any point somebody just follow them to this location? He's gone. He took all his stuff, his notes. I saw this coming. Finally freaked. Well, geeks made a run for it. Freaks and geeks. Yeah, but where? Did he go straight to the source? Did he try to go to Crowley himself? Where would he have gone? Sam and Dean respond to Kevin, who's hearing Crowley's voice in his head. They later team up with a Reaper to deal with the tablet's second trial. And they do. And they did. The tablet's second trial to deliver an innocent from heaven or from hell. To heaven. Simple enough, right? Luckily for us, it gets to be Bobby. We get to see Bobby. I am a little upset that Dean and Bobby didn't get to have a moment. Like, they release, you know, Bobby from his arm, and maybe he gets a brief second to be on the mortal plane before turning into a spirit. Maybe just enough to say, 
hey to Dean or and I love you or something, you know, just something simple just so they can have a moment because I feel like it was needed. I feel like you could also use this episode to give a proper send off to Bobby compared to how he went out and to have them get an actual like final moment because that final moment they had with burning the flask just felt lackluster. I don't know. I feel like you could have done it a little bit better. Sam getting to see Bobby and to rescue him from hell is super great. Uh, Crowley hot on their ass is really good. Naomi trying to gaslight the boys and like, hey, you can trust me. I'm your friend. I will help you. No, you won't. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Kevin's freak. That glass wasn't broke. So I think Kevin had that illusion that maybe he went ahead and bounced. And maybe he went somewhere he feels is safer. I don't think his mom's dead, but if she did die, you know, off scene, off screen, then that's just kind of shitty. I would rather see that. I mean, we did watch him. His girlfriend died, and he really didn't have any reaction to it. I felt bad for little brother, but that's neither, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. He just had his, he just had his little moment. Um. So the the demon tablet's hidden. Cass still has the angel tablet, wherever he's located at. Naomi really just wants the gates of hell to be closed. But with all the trials being done, I feel like Sam now has some ability or something brewing in him. And maybe it'll have to be a self-sacrifice in order to close the gates of hell. I don't know how that part's going to play out. That part has me worried, and I guess that'll that'll come in the finale. I imagine we'll see Cass in the next episode or two. I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll have either 20, 21, 22, and 23 all be story bam 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 or we'll have a monster of the week normally the last three episodes are all story if nothing else the last two definitely will be so we have one or two monster of the week type things in there maybe just a random side episode i think they should be on the hunt for kevin i wouldn't mind them getting a job a side job there that demon just watching felt anticlimactic i thought he was going to be somebody important just a demon aj kind of came and went and uh i i feel Like, that guy could have been cool, but he wasn't somebody that was going to be a reoccurring theme. It sucks all the times they mention Garth. We don't actually get to see Garth. Even a phone call and a and a one-minute scene of Garth, I think, would be fun. Just him just riding his car, you know, bumping some, like, 90s hip-hop or something. I think it would be pretty cool. So, this episode's really good, but I just want to put that out there. Benny, who I haven't got to talk about yet, making the ultimate sacrifice to stay behind in Purgatory... I thought Dean, or I'm, thought, I'm sorry, I thought Sam was going to kill Benny and then bounce and then lie to Dean about it for some reason. That's, that's what I felt was coming, but he also has some, um, I don't want to say sympathies for Benny, but he has, he was going to help Benny get back. You know, my brother sent you here. We'll get you back. Even Bobby had a little bit of, not, I don't want to say respect for him because he thought the boys went off their rocker, but. Uh, Bobby could see that Benny was a good guy and Benny like, hey, I don't fit in on Earth. I don't fit in with these people. I, I can't. I don't fit in here. I don't fit in with vampires. I don't fit in with humans. I don't fit in with these people. I don't fit in with those people. You know, I'll just go to purgatory and just fight. You know, maybe maybe that's what I'm I'm destined to do. You, you know, he had a he had his his girlfriend, wife, whatever she was. She turned her back on him. So at the end of the day, he has nothing. And that and that sucks. I hope we do see Benny again somewhere down the line. I think that'd be very nice. It just sucks all the way around because, like I said, Dean was kind of like his sponsor, and they were actual friends, and it would have been cool for Benny to kind of team up with us, and we have a, a vampire on the team and just some extra insight on things, but but no. But no. But like I said, hopefully we get to see Benny. I'm sure we'll see Bobby down the road in some capacity. It just sucks that he's gone, and there's no way to actually have him as a as a mortal. I'm pretty sure they probably discussed it, but they're like, the bones, blah, blah, blah. We'd have to make up some more lore. Whatever, whatever, whatever. What have you, what have you. And it would just be a thing. But regardless, uh, I enjoyed the episode. Taxi Driver, very fitting, all the way around. Season 8, episode 19, entitled Taxi Driver. Season 8, episode 20, entitled Pac-Man Fever. And I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. As always, stay cute, stay hydrated, and I'll catch you on the next one.